If I put you, what's here? Day two. One eternity later. I get you no go. I get no go. Go out the art school. Hi, hi, beautiful people. How are y'all doing today? God, I, I know I look like a mini mad woman. Like, this air needs to... I've been so busy. I've been so busy. And this air... <laughs> I feel like cutting my hair for the very first time. I'm feeling that way. Ah, so you guys. I don't even know where to start from. I don't, um, I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I think I'm sharing this for mothers out there, right? We are here to, of course, inspire people, let you all know that we got you, we see what you're going through too, even though you're not showing it on social media. This is just a sneak peek of what I go through. I wish I can show you my whole routine with my son, Caris. Caris will be six years old in September, and ever since i gave birth to him this is what we are literally doing and it it has been i don't know i don't know what i'm even saying but see if we have how many healers yeah buying more and we've gone to a series of hospital most times most times he's looking so healthy today and I'm so happy because he's adding up some weight and the next thing this asthmatic attack start when this asthmatic attack just starts he starts uh, reducing the weight low appetite he can play like this fellow kids he can run around he can do a lot of things I don't know I don't know I've prayed and I think I've not prayed enough and I know there's nothing God cannot do. I know the mothers here who might be passing through similar situation like like this or even even worse situation like having your baby in kind of disease illness and uh, that the doctor have given up on and I want you to I want to encourage you to have faith in God. You see this is just uh, I, some people call it normal asthmatic stuff. So just imagine a child, a, a, a mother that the, the child has a lot of terminal disease that she has to literally carry the child. Thank God I have husband that most times at midnight. You see, I wish I could show you our midnight routine with Carrie's at times, but this is just TMI. It's too much information. Even this, I had to talk to my husband because I felt like it's a way of sharing our experiences. It's also a way of encouraging any mother out there 
before my husband agreed to this uh, video uh, and you understand so this is just me encouraged this is what i've been passing even whilst those past four months dealing with so the nakas case uh, going to the hospital call, talking to the ngo traveling the last time i traveled to edo my son was so sick they was almost even admitted but had to go to edo sacrifice i would make i have to go to edo to get them to the hospital and uh, I came back almost the, I just, I spent well, a day there, came back the next, I had to rush back because of my son. Most times I'm there filming or dinner car, my son is in the hospital. Well, I feel, I don't like talking about, um, I don't like it when people tell me, so, oh, sorry, or oh, I hate sorry in my life. That's why I don't like feeling sick. I, I hate it when people say I'm sorry. So as much as I don't like sharing those negativities on my, they are not really negativities per se. They are experiences of life. They are issues of life, of course. Uh, but I don't really like sharing it. I'll tell you, I'm in the hospital today. Oh, my son is sick tomorrow. Oh, uh, people will even get tired. Like, is is it just bad news on this channel? Can't you just can't you just give us good news? Hello, motherhood is something that our parents did not tell us what we face as small small girls that just got married <laughs> small small girls that just jumped into marriage no clue no idea the sleepless nights the sacrifice the all a whole lot of things so this is just sneak peek like i told you of what to do if you have a son a child a daughter that's having this kind of similar challenge please let me know in the comment section what you have to do what you've been doing for the child so i'm thinking and at my apartment a whole lot of things i want to move out from this current apartment where we are we're making plans to move up i feel like we don't have space i i, I feel like there's no space and for an asthmatic patient i need uh, space pigs needs airway need inflows of air uh, and as much as you don't need to stay in a congested place i feel like my apartment is already so congested for us because we have a whole lot of load and i i'm feeling uncomfortable already especially because of my son my son's health like especially these past few months is it's, it's, it's just it just keeps increasing so uh, so i'm feeling like when the doctor told me i feel like our apartment is congested for him we need a bigger and a more bigger and better space and so properties like loads will not be so much in their room to just be their wardrobe and their bed so so then you know sort of inflows i feel like their room is so congested that's one thing so um, i want to get an apartment as soon as possible this is the sacrifice i have to make for my son and uh, see you guys i don't know um, we are going to the hospital now. I don't know if I should carry you guys along. The doctor gave me an appointment for 11 and this is past 10, so I need to start going now. I I don't know. See, if you're a mom and you're having a similar case like this, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you give to the child. Let me know how the food they love eating and what I can do to boost Caris is so so slim now like he's really machating so i want something to boost up to make him eat well doesn't eat well doesn't eat well oh my god what that was three days later it's fine no no this thing will still go off <laughs> this is what it's so hey guys this is a few days later and uh, my son is feeling feeling much more better and he was nebulized and the fact that we are in river states where we have a whole lot of suits my god most times i have to clean my acs most times twice in two weeks it's tiring the fan everything i don't know if i can sliding some clip of i don't know if i'll see it i don't know clip of when i'm cleaning these things you see the the black suit you guys so it's stable now it's much more better and uh, for any mother out there 
going through this kind of challenge what do you do please leave it in the comment section let me know what you do the doctor told me a lot of things to her voice stuffy place stuffy clothes um allergy if he's allergic to kind of food or something i should stop giving him cereal like cocoa pops goody more conflicts for experienced mothers there leave it in the comment section because the doctor said those series does it my son has really lost weight and it's, she said those series does not um they're fiber they don't make children hard weights kind of you know so what is so the you know ventolin inhaler ventolin injection the nobilizer so he's much more stable than he was before and uh, they advised me to get a nobilizer uh, for him i've been trying to get a price it's a bit expensive my sister in, the, in canada said she had it uh, before but she gave it out i don't know and i i don't know the price has really gone up because as of two years ago when i priced it it was fifteen thousand. now it's over how much so i'm trying to get that nobilizer for him so we can just have it at home in case of all these things so this is motherhood and most times you don't prepare yourself for all these things but in all these things i'm hoping and praying for perfect healing in all these things this all these cases all these things um all this illness uh, are not something that so anybody can wish for anybody is really bad especially when it comes to a child discomforting the child and everything no matter the illness there's nothing god cannot do no matter the disease there's nothing absolutely nothing god cannot do and i'm hoping and praying for the perfect healing of god upon the life of my son perfect healing of God upon his life so this is me being so real and uh, me being so real being a mother and sharing my experience with you all hope you enjoyed this video hope you like this video please if you are an experienced mother and you've been handling, handling kids that has a similar case please let me know in the comment section I need all your advice in the comment section of this video thank you so much yeah till I come your way next time I'm sorry I'm having a new face or a new look or something but you're gonna see that later in another vlog I'll talk to you guys in my next video God bless you all and bye bye